music too loud? Oh, you don't like the music? I love the music. It gets Menchi all excited to sleep. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Am I too quiet? My mic looks correct. Is it still too quiet, man? Hello, chat. How is everyone doing? Welcome on in, everyone. We Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Welcome on into the mods. I know it's been a wild week of launches of videos and everything. Um, but yeah, today we're gonna play games. So maybe we'll we'll chat a little bit before. Maybe I'll just change the music. How about that? Let's change the music. Stream music on. Royalty free. Got him. Okay. Uh, I missed something. Hello, Claudian Aramas. I'm so excited to see the game. I purposely missed Julian's streams yesterday to watch you play it. Don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> no, Julie. <laughs> no, I feel like you could watch anyone play this game as a cat because, you know, cats are superior. They are superior to humans. I kind of think just by definition, the game is going to be better than Detroit Become Human because cats are better than androids and humans is my conclusion. Yeah, I haven't even played it yet. I'm already biased. It's already the best game ever. Let's see if I even know how to jump. We'll find out. Well, uh, thank you, the, the Femway. Hi from work. I just wanted to say how proud I am of you and appreciate all that you do for us. Thank you. That means so much to me. So welcome to the mods. We have Mel and Nail Art, Katie, and other mods who may be around here now, later, wherever. They do whatever they want. Is it my mic? Okay, I'll turn it up. Can you hear me now? Hello, everyone. Procrastination Carol. I just want to give a really huge shout out to our mods who were on double, no, 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 triple, quadruple duty on Saturday <laughs> when it was the Hollow Taco Gala launch and um, we did not have slow mode on <laughs> because sometimes just seeing the chat all join in unanimously and yell and scream exciting things at the same time is just so fun. It's impossible to read, but it's also kind of fun sometimes. So thank you to all the mods. Use the mod love emoji that's Xyler hugging a wrench. Uh, if you're in the Menchie gang, you have access to those emojis, but we really appreciate the mods for keeping up with the chat, keeping it a safe space, a good space, and also just a fun space. Like the fact that my mods will respond to you guys and be like, hey, I hope you're doing well, or thanks for joining us. Like it's little things like that that I appreciate about our mods. Um, not just them saying don't spam obviously like you know things like that have to happen if there's a couple bad people in the chat But not in this chat honestly like this chat is too good. <laughs> Look at this. This chat is too good Too well behaved unlike Bentendo absolutely the opposite experience in this chat This is a chat um, where there is order but happy chaos So yeah, thank you mods. We love you Ben stuff, yeah. Okay, I did miss a few super chats and they are, I can still see them. Yay! So I'll read the ones that I can still see. Thank you, Gabrielle. Thank you um, for your main channel update. I'm glad you are doing what makes you happy with the streams. Can't wait for this game. Yes, thank you, me as well. I appreciate all the support. Maybe I'll talk just a little thank bit about that. Um, I missed a couple other super chats though. Hi, Christine. I haven't been able to be here for a while because I've been working, but I'm so happy to be here today. Yay! Are there new people in the chat today? Put a one if you're new. Uh, put a one if this is your first live stream in the chat. Hey Chris, it's my birthday tomorrow and I'm feeling old 27 <laughs> and lost in life after grad school. Can I please have some wise hollow guidance? Um, grad school is just the beginning. You know, I feel like everyone in grad school is like, what am I doing with my life? Um, that's what I was because I didn't have a job yet. Um, but it's just the beginning. You'll figure it out. You will find your way. Even if it's more school, the answer will come. Thank you, Sailor Sunshine. Just wanted to tell you we appreciate any and all content you give us. Made my largest Hollow Taco purchase on Saturday and I can't wait to get it. Yes, orders are shipping out. I'm so excited. Uh, on that note, before I forget, the Hollow Taco Gala Collection box set is almost sold out. I let you guys know on my social media as I try and do an update reasonably enough before I predict it will sell out but I also have to take into consideration that if I'm telling you it's almost sold out that might expedite the sellout so I try to tell you earlier than I would have otherwise if it didn't have that effect <laughs> so this is I wanted to be able to give like a fair warning that the collection box set for 
the gala collection right there in the box is almost gone so just in case if you were waiting for longer um it is almost gone that's your warning yours is coming tomorrow woo your ship today woo woo <laughs> yay it's very exciting also shout out to all the ones that i uh, just ignored because i was reading chats <laughs> thank you to everyone who's joining for the first time I hope you're just chilling. You know, that's what I'm doing. We're gonna chill, chat, and then then we're gonna be a cat. Chill, chat, be a cat. That's my life. <laughs> Pen, nail to mint. My dad wanted me to say he loved your ring and earring Saturday. <laughs> Thanks, dad. But it was too chaotic. He's disabled and lives with me, so he watches with me. Oh, that's super sweet that you guys get to do that together. That's so fun. Um, my ring and earrings were from Swarovski. I don't know. I really like their stuff when they have like colored sparkles. Thank you, Nicole. Got engaged. Use the Frosted Metals collection to match the shine on the ring. We are all here to support whatever content makes you most happy. Frosted Metals looks like, I mean, it depends what color you use. But gift receipt, which is like the silver one, would totally look super, super shiny. Shiny. Shiny? Shiny. Hello. Words. Thank you, Nutella Ball 2. Hello, Simply. Just wanted to say I cried so much with your last Simply video, and I think I can speak for everyone that we are just happy to see you do what you want to do. Can't wait to get my first big Holo Taco order. Thank you. And that's super sweet. Thank you, I am the diva as well. Um, okay, maybe we'll talk about that first so we can get it out of the way and then be a cat. <laughs> right, Menche? She's sleeping in her pumpkin. She refused. Um, so, yeah. I posted that video and then kind of ghosted the internet for like a little bit. I mean, maybe I did some sidebar social media updates, but I I didn't really want to look at comments initially. And I had a pretty hard time making that video, as you can imagine. <laughs> I barely wanted to listen to it back. I, I recorded it and I'm like, I don't even want to edit this. <laughs> but um, I really appreciate once I like took a few days and I looked through the comments uh, and saw people tweeting at me and everything, I the overwhelming positivity from that video is so nice to hear, and I just really so, like so much appreciate everyone who took the time to write something out to me. And it's okay if those people aren't here because they're not interested in streams or they're just busy. It doesn't work with their timeline or they're watching later. But anyone who has come across me in their life and then left me a message on that video, people wrote such heartfelt stuff, like things that I've heard before, you know, in Simply Mail Logical, some people wrote me letters or whatever, but I guess I just assumed after not really being on that channel for six months that only a very small proportion, like you guys, <laughs> you guys minus the ones, <laughs> Um, still watched me or still paid attention um, so I guess basically what I'm saying is I just kind of like I feel like I've been on this big stage for recent years of my life and the stage was like too big and there was just too many people watching me so then I like went to a tiny small stage over here which is this channel and streaming and had an amazing connection with you guys and you know literally like remember some of your names in the chat all the time i know who's a regular and i feel like there's some regulars who are used to seeing me and then for the first time in six months i stepped back onto that big stage and didn't really know if any of those people would care that much remember notice and the positivity I got from people once I stepped back onto that big stage was incredibly overwhelming. Um, I don't know what it is. I, yes, I love this community. Yeah, Aura. It, basically, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you're all regulars. Yeah, or you're all going to become regulars. And I, I guess I just want to also extend a double extra thank you to everyone who has kept up with everything I'm doing and everyone who finds it just a good time and relaxing and fun to chill with me even if I'm not making the type of content that maybe you were used to that was in your face and chaotic for 20 minutes every Saturday um, the regulars here know that I give you way more hours than that and there's so much more to discuss and we can get more granular and we can talk more in detail about things and there are still jokes but they take place over the course of three hours you know <laughs> so while I don't expect anyone to sit down and watch 
and like pay attention for three hours every time I stream. Um, that's not really how I view streams. That's not how I treat streams either when I watch other content creators. I appreciate everyone who takes like five minutes out of their day to just come and hang out or watches it on VOD and realizes that maybe that's something that they can enjoy as opposed to just, you know, like shooting down streams. I, I don't know, like maybe it's just a, a culture shift. It's I'm bigger so than me. I think a lot of people are learning about streaming and deciding that it's something they could be interested in, but they're a little weirded out because they're like, I don't understand. How is this entertaining and engaging? I need something stimulating every two seconds in my brain. And I think more and more people, especially with work from home being, you know, a lot of people's experience, uh, are kind of thriving in a streaming environment in the sense of like being a viewer. I love it. I put on someone's stream all the time. Like I literally cannot work if I don't have someone's stream on. Like <laughs> what's happened to me? But that's me. Everyone has different preferences. I just, I kind of wish that more people could see that it's a possibility. And um, I hope that maybe some of you are like, you know what? Not so bad, you know? She may make less sense over the course of three hours, but occasionally when I tune in, it kind of feels like having a friend or just being a little more relaxed. So, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, <laughs> basically. It's a different experience, yeah. But it's low key, it's not supposed to be in your face unless you're watching Troom Troom live streams. Those are in your face, <laughs> like what is happening? Has anyone seen that? Troom Troom and all their other channels, uh, like one, two, three, go live stream now and they just repeat the same content and it's like in your face all the time. It's, it's for children, obviously. Um, what else did I want to say? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I had so much to think and say in that video that I definitely did not put everything that I wanted to say in that video because I was trying to keep that that message short, succinct. I didn't want to complain too much, but I also wanted to give people information so that they knew where I was coming from and so that there wasn't really any lingering questions because I just feel like people didn't understand why I wasn't there and although some of you who've like listened to me or the podcast over the last few months like could probably have guessed why first of all like I'm so busy with Hollow Taco I really enjoy streaming I'm doing it more and um Anytime anyone in this chat has previously asked, like, are there videos, I either ignore it or I answer sarcastically, like, this is a video. So people who paid attention to my streams probably kind of understand and, and could have guessed that, but I felt like I needed to put my own explanation out there um, as succinct as possible and also not... I'd never want to complain. <laughs> Um, not that I think anyone's response was negative to me, but it's just like something that's constantly on my mind. It's like, do not complain, do not complain. You know, everything's amazing. So I, I don't want to put shit out into the world where I'm complaining and maybe making people feel bad because I also acknowledge that there's always someone out there that's doing worse than you. And that's true of literally all of us. Um, so therefore it's okay, you know, to, to complain to your friends or whatever and say, I'm going through shit and I don't like it and I want to change it because you always know that someone on this earth has it worse than you. That's very Canadian of me. Is that Canadian? That's a stereotype. It's the sock emotions. Yeah, it's the sock emotions. <laughs> Chat, are you a sock? Chat, I am a sock and a cat. My ears are sticking up my sock. Anyways, I'm happy doing this, and those who've joined my stream have have known that. Um, it was also really hard to talk about my dad in that video because I was kind of just expecting that most people who watched that didn't know that my dad died because they don't watch this channel, and I didn't really mention it much elsewhere, like maybe one Instagram post. Yeah, I guess, but that's it. But then I kind of stopped posting on Instagram after that. And now every time I go on Instagram, I'm just reminded 
of my dad because I posted him and then I was like, fuck, I need to post so I don't see that immediately. <laughs> Anyways. Fuck, man. What's going on, man? Simply suck, man. <laughs> I see socks in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, everyone has shit going on, you know, and I don't want you guys to, I seriously, I said it in the video, but I'll say it again. I don't want people to think that I, like, hated making all videos and now you feel betrayed because I was lying and it wasn't a good time. That's not true. <laughs> like, I I had so much fun coming up with, like, the stupidest concepts <laughs> and doing dumb nail shit and making jokes and memes, but... I think when you put yourself as a public person, whether it just happens or whether you wanted it, and you do that for so long, the expectations kind of get to you, no matter how strong of a person you are. And I always felt like I had that on my side, because I've, as I've kind of mentioned before, um, I feel kind of lucky in a sense that I got famous later in life as opposed to you know when the average person finds fame on the internet because I was 26 as opposed to 18 and I think being a young person finding fame uh, is way more challenging than being an older person an old lady um, because I had the benefit of experiencing life for at least five six eight years as an adult um, in the most normal sense as possible and so while that's not an argument for the best career, if that's your goal, that's an argument for understanding the reality of most people. And when I say that, I don't mean I, you know, I don't, I cannot relate to every single person, even when I was 25, obviously we all live in different contexts and everything. But I just think like I had the benefit of being a normal person who was never noticed on the street, who no one cared about what I said online. No one asked me questions at work about, oh, how do you make money online? No one judged me for literally anything except in the superficial ways that we judge strangers so I lived like that as an adult for many years and then found fame on the internet and with every year that that's been the case it's been like seven years guys have been on YouTube for seven years it's gotten harder and harder to accept that um, which you'd think it would get easier over time but I I just feel like it It wasn't always easy for me to be that famous person <laughs> because it wasn't necessarily what I was after and when I say that that sounds ungrateful so that's why I have never really said it um, because I feel like there's no way to say that <laughs> it doesn't sound like that I'll put it this way I started on the internet by putting nail videos on on YouTube or Instagram. I had no intention of showing my face, of talking, of having people get to know my relationships or uh, like more about me or making more, making comedy videos that I had did not see that in my future at all. And then it just kind of happened. And we talked about this on the podcast once. It, it didn't happen against my will. Obviously, I chose to do it. But I just feel like after years of doing it, I I realized like it, it wasn't really what I, um, it wasn't my goal. I think some content creators, their goal is literally to be seen because that is kind of the point of it. And they want their face because they are, they're, because they're comics, they're, they write scripts that are funny or they want to do engaging, entertaining stuff. And I, I've always kind of struggled with that. You know what I mean? And it's hard to express that to other people who have never experienced that because they also don't understand how could it be so bad when you're so lucky or you're so fortunate or how can you complain about having so much attention? So I have very few people in my life that I can share that with, you know, like other YouTube friends basically. <laughs> and I think I just struggle with that maybe I'm not going to say more than others, but um, it's been hard in particular for me because I never saw this as my life or I, I wasn't trying to shape my life in that way. It, it just happened. 
and I'm extremely grateful for all the amazing things that it has brought me and the ability for me to do, including having Hollow Taco. The fact that that exists is literally because of you guys and getting famous on YouTube or going to Polish Mountain. Um, but yeah, it's an it's an experience that's a it's a position that's pretty hard to be in when you feel like you're like not as strong to be in it. And I feel like I've done a good job on the outside at being like, yeah, no problem. It's it's just negative comments. There's only five of them. Don't care. <laughs> but I guess over time it eats you. You know, it eats you like. Like the pumpkins eating that menchie. Anyways. <laughs> I had a really hard time making that video, basically, and keeping it short. I'm glad you feel good about sharing. I feel like, I don't know what it is. It's so much easier to talk in this stream than it is to record that fucking voiceover <laughs> that I did. Like, I don't know. It's so weird. It's like I have an issue. I have an issue with stepping on the big stage. I am terrified now of stepping on that big stage. And some of this is like kind of in my head. I understand that, but. Oh, did I spook? No spook. No spook, Mitch. Group hug? Okay, group hug. <laughs> but this has been the best part. Uh, the, the best part. The interactivity. Yeah, just reading. And I can literally read right now. Thank you, Jean by Design. Congrats on year three. <laughs> Bought two of the collection boxes. Thank you. Loving all your content. Do what makes you happy. And we'll always have our support. Yeah. I also don't want to mislead people in thinking like streaming is absolutely no work or, you know, doesn't isn't taxing either. People who stream for a living or as part of their content, it is a form of work. And I respect it as such too. And sometimes you don't feel like doing it and you do it. Uh, but that's like any job. Sometimes you don't feel like doing it, but you do it. So I don't see it as that different. It's just um, fewer people are in your position because way more people in the world just watch streams than people who actually host them. But I am much happier doing this and just talking directly with you guys like this. It's fun, like, come on. It's fun, we get to be cats or robots. Thank you, Meg pa Paint Nails. Wait, no hugs, 2%. <laughs> exactly. Did I say hugs? I was kidding. Absolutely no hugs on this channel. <laughs> I'm not crying, there's hollow in my eye. Thank you, Bambi. <laughs> F in the chat from me because I forgot the 2%. Yeah. Thank you, Abigail. I love how your content in case you're new on the stream, I maybe I'll just tell that joke. In case some people missed it too, because it was such an obscure <laughs> There was a game called Detroit Become Human, which is my favorite game that I played so far, where we play androids. But there's this one moment where you had to decide whether or not to hug a child. I won't explain like the context before because it'd be a spoiler. And I chose remain distant as opposed to hug the child. And when you look at the stats afterwards, it said that 98% of people chose to hug the child and 2% said stay distant. <laughs> so I, yes, I, the 2% did not hug the child, no hugs. All right, well. <laughs> I do have more fun streams planned. Maybe I'll talk about that in case those who don't care about gaming. This Saturday, my sister's gonna come over and we're gonna do a ladies who lunch brunch stream, which I think will be really fun. So we're gonna make a little lunch because it's gonna be this Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern, my time. It's earlier Pacific, sorry, but you know, by the time you watch our lunch tutorial, yeah, Jan! Jan! We just gotta figure out which recipes. We gotta go grocery shopping. Thank you, Lisa's Place. I appreciate that. And we're gonna do a kitchen stream with my sister, Jan. Ladies who lunch. We're gonna be so tacky. 
think I'm literally gonna call the stream like Ladies Who Lunch. Featuring my sister. Was Jen in the 2%? Definitely. D Jen would not hug the child, for sure. <laughs> so, yeah. And we are going to finish the quarry. I will keep my promise. I was about to finish the quarry, but then Stray came out, and I got hounded to play Stray. And I was like, yeah, you're, you know what? Everyone is right. And I asked the members, Menchie Gang members, on a poll earlier this morning which one they prefer. Uh, if I continue... Um, the quarry or if I play stray and finish the quarry later and they voted stray thank you per illusion you got the collection already damn yes yeah, some people have started receiving the collection that's amazing it's only Wednesday shout out to the warehouse shout out to all the shipping couriers out there yo mad respect for everyone who works for a shipping company like holy shit man the demand for that in the past few years God damn. And I appreciate everyone's patience who's still waiting on their order to be processed. It's only day three of shipping. And usually when there's a big launch, orders can take between 10 and 14 business days to ship out. It's usually a little quicker than that, unless there's like an issue with, you know, an order for whatever reason. But generally speaking, that's the timeline. So it's only day three. So I appreciate everyone's patience for the warehouse, um, you know, to get those orders out. And you'll get an email when yours ships. Yeah, warehouse, warehouse. I mean, they're not watching right now because they wouldn't watch a cat stream. But <laughs> also shout out to cu customer service. Yes, thank you. Shout out to customer service also. Anytime there's a launch, um, they their inbox is way more full. <laughs> You got ground. You got hounded to play the kitty game. Uh, I mean, like in a nice way. Wait, are you mean? Are you joking? Cause hound is like a dog. <laughs> Me trying to figure out jokes. <laughs> I want to play Stray. Okay, I'll put it that way. I want to play Stray, but I was thinking that I would just wait until next week so we could finish the quarry. But then everyone's like, no, 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 you have to do it now. And then I'm like, you know what? I kind of want to be a cat. Oh, do we have sexy bots back? We do have sexy bots back. Shout out to the sexy bots. Shout out to the mods taking care of the sexy bots. <laughs> I feel like, like those bots are so dumb. Like who's gonna click on that? It's so stupid. And also like, there's no links here. <laughs> what, a, what a useless scam. Like, I just <laughs> do better, okay? If you want to scam people, do better. <laughs> Bots. Pathetic. <laughs> Men, she could do better. You banned them? You go, Melon Nail Art. Let's go. Even my grandma would know that's a scam. That's how bad it is and how not effective it is. Because, like, what are you even clicking on? Like, no insulting <laughs> their strategy <laughs> it's so bad and so dumb okay i apologize i definitely missed a bunch of um super chats and member chats when i was ranting there and unfortunately i cannot go back and pull it back onto the screen because they're all on a timer you know what i mean like i can only see oh here i'll, I'll read the ones that i can see how about that Thank you, Swagness. I love how your content has evolved. I always wished your videos were longer because they're so enjoyable to watch and I kind of hang out with you. Thank you. Knowing that you're doing what you want is really motivating. Yeah. Yeah. I hope I, that's what I want in the world. Um, also see how I can't go any further. They're, they're, all, they're all gone because it's a timer. That's what I want is to make people feel good after they watch my content, whether it's a, a you know, a polished video, <laughs> pun intended or it's a stream. I don't want to put negative shit out into the world. Sometimes there's a reason to have a serious conversation. Maybe it's on a podcast or maybe it's a stream. But generally speaking, I want people to walk away from my content with a smile or being relaxed or just chilling. And um, that's kind of how I feel about everything I do. So that's also why I'm really hyper cognizant of not bringing up too much negative stuff whether it's about me or other people or anything because I, I just want to have fun so you, that you can have fun if that makes sense you know like we just want to chill we just like there's so much shit in the world the bots will not give up like this is the shit in the world <laughs> and, 
and we're gonna this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life <laughs> but it makes me laugh thank you Bentendo shout out to Bentendo <laughs> got him is Holo Taco your only full-time job I mean being a content creator and what I do is uh much more than just one thing and I, the word full-time means nothing once you're a content creator because full-time to the average person means 40 hours a week, nine to five on Monday through Friday. Those timelines do not exist in the digital media landscape. I'm sure there's some of you who work in it. Uh, I mean, maybe you have an employer that will set those parameters for you if you work for someone in social media, but if you are the content creator yourself, there's there's nothing. So I work seven days a week on Palo Taco, uh, simply related content, whether it's planning my streams, actually streaming, um, co-editing some of the highlight stuff, planning those edits, working on simply Facebook posts. Um, and I'm now trying to start up like a, a short vertical stuff. Okay, Ben. Now Ben is the bot. See how stupid this is? <laughs> Nail polish. Yeah. But Holo Taco takes up most of my time, if that was your question. I am on leave from the government currently, and I'm hearing like all sorts of weird shit about the requirements um, that makes me like not want to go back. <laughs> but whatever. Um, I'm going to talk to some of my coworkers about that and hear a little bit more about what's going on. I don't think many people are happy, but um, I am not currently there right now. Man, stop. Confirmed. Also work for the Canadian government in office? Yeah. That's, it's a really tricky conversation to have, so we're not going to have it now. First of all, because like only 8% of you are from Canada. And of those, I imagine less than 1% even like work or want to work in the government. But a, most people just hate anyone who works for the government. So anytime you complain about any conditions in the government, 99% of other people are going to be like, oh, shut up. You don't deserve to complain. Another thing I'm extremely cognizant of. <laughs> I like this bot. Buy Holo Taco. Yo, why don't we make... I just had the best idea. I'm going to set up stream elements, which is my bot, to look like that. Okay, I'm going to do that after the stream. Thanks, bots. I just had the, the best idea. <laughs> Complaining is normal human behavior. It is. But when you are someone on the internet, if you do that all the time, like you normally would to your friends and family, like we all complain to each other all the time. Hummus? No, that's definitely a bot. Ban it. <laughs> we all, like you guys talk to your friends, your family, and you're like, oh my God, her, this dress in the store was so ugly. It shouldn't be $20 or whatever. <laughs> we complain all the time. We're like, my boss is really annoying today because they slurped coffee. We do it all the time. But if you are someone who's on the internet and you complain about literally anything, People will talk negatively, and uh, then when they talk negatively about it, people who read the negative talk will think, hmm, you know what, you're right. She's kind of a bitch. <laughs> so you have to be like triple careful. And um, for me, it's just been an increasing building of anxiety of like, don't talk, say nothing, be good. You should not complain. Anyways, this is this is my, uh, my daily struggle. Not here though, I feel good here. So I don't want to make you guys feel like that, but just generally speaking. Buy Holo Taco. Do it. <laughs> the bot. Thank you, Ashley. When will Party of One Purple be restocked? I am so sorry. Yeah, we did not expect that. Uh, I do. I still don't have a, a concrete answer for you. So I don't know. But we're hoping not that far off. We're hoping to restock it before the next time we launch, like the next major collection, which is not imminent. Uh, but I'm hoping that we'll be able to do like a restock of that. Holotaco.com. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Played straight earlier. Thought about you playing this. Yeah. See? People think of me. I wonder why. <laughs> do not call it poop. I will ban you. <laughs> I'm just so glad so many people wanted it. It's a great purple. It is. It is. I'm sorry. I'm making you feel bad. I have it here. Uh, I just was not, we were not expecting that it would 
that so many people would be buying it because it wasn't a limited edition item and we knew that we would be able to restock it if it sold out so we I guess we didn't make enough for launch but it's like this is really good data so the next time if we have like a limited edition collection set and something else is launching alongside it whatever it is just knowing to have a little bit more because more people are just maybe purchasing everything is something to consider. But when we initially did the projections, we're like, it's just a cram, it's not limited edition. So surely it's not gonna sell as many of the limited edition whole anniversary sets, right? Like even you would agree like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Anyways, yeah, we underestimated, but you know, it happens and we will restock. Ben is S tier at advertising, he really is. Good job, Ben. You're hired. You can stay. Is Stray sad? I saw some people asking about this, so let's get this out of the way. Has anyone who played Stray, can you confirm whether or not it is sad or potentially triggering to people who love cats? I read about it to make sure, and I saw that it was rated E for everyone and that there wasn't any major flags, but I want to hear from you guys. I swear to God, if all the cats die, I quit. <laughs> it has a good ending. There's a sad part. It's sad briefly, not really. You almost cried. Okay, well, these are all different answers. <laughs> it's, it is rated E for everyone, but I'm just asking the chat, you know, if they have their feelings. No spoilers, but it's sad a little bit. Yeah, so please, if you've played the game, like with any games that we play on here, do not write full on spoilers in the chat. I was just asking if it was sad, you know, or any like major high level trigger warnings for a pet owner, that's all. Don't write the exact plot like in the ending. <laughs> it's bittersweet, okay. For a hot second it's sad, but we get over it. So yeah, with me in gaming, um, I'll, I'll give you my main rules. The first rule is no like obvious spoilers. Don't say go left because then that person will not die and then the whole game outcome will look like this. <laughs> Don't say that <laughs> because other people in the chat wanna be able to enjoy the game, the gameplay, whether it's watching me for the first time or if they wanna play it themselves. Um, and I, number two, I do not really read the chat that much while I'm playing because I'm trying to concentrate. But number three, unlike most gamer streamers, sometimes I could use a little bit of help. <laughs> this isn't an invite for you to tell me exactly what to do at all times or like, or be a dick about it. But if I'm clearly struggling with like, I don't, I don't understand that the game is actually asking me to go left and clearly there's a light that's telling me to go left. If chat says like follow the light, that's okay for me because I feel like I'm I'm a learner at games and it's not as intuitive to me. So I'm okay with a little bit of that. Just just for like just a gentle help. That's cool. But uh don't be a dick. You'll piss people off. Like Menchi. Okay. So it's like don't backseat, but if you want to be kind and just whisper in the passenger seat, that's okay. <laughs> because that I don't mind. Genuine, like, helping me figure something. If I'm, like, stuck and I'm, like, kind of an idiot, like, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you, dollhouse. It's about a cat getting separated from their family. Oh, and the way that occurs is sad for about five minutes. Watch someone plays last night. Okay, so for five minutes, we'll be sad. <clears throat> fix my screens to open stray so this game was just released the other night right the other day yesterday sorry I gotta fix my screens. G guys, I can only see half of you. I only see half the chat. <laughs> half chat. I see, I see Barfy Boy, graphics, feet. Just 
this? How do I? I just have to change the settings so that I can bring the screen over to the right side. Oops. Sorry guys, give me a second. games where you can't move the mouse out of the screen at the same time so it's very annoying it's not the chat Ben it was the game itself I couldn't get it on the right screen hold on everybody all right let's turn the audio up ready to play Stray. We are playing Stray. It's a game about cats. Basically, it's a game about me in full force. So Ben, you'll just have to tell me about audio. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to pause the game every time to adjust. That was just testing to make sure it installed. The game's too loud. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let's try that. Put a cat in the chat if you are a cat. It's raining. Menchie, look, it's raining. Menchie! <laughs> Kitty time! So many cats in the chat. I'm a cat too. It's crazy. There's so many cats here. Instead of asking you to put a one in the chat, I want you to say put a cat in the chat if you are a cat. Okay. Alright. <gasps> Thank you, rabbit. Sorry. Guys, am I Xyler? Yo, I am Xyler! I'm sorry, Menji. Fight. We're fighting. No, we're playing. Guys, it's Tyler. I'm so happy. This game is so cute. I'm gonna cry. I just started. <laughs> I'm a cat. I'm literally a cat. Yes. Oh, is he licking me? Oh, I don't want to jump off there. Wait. Is there anything in here? Control system. Wow. Hey guys, how's it going? Can I join your pizza party? Is that a pizza box? jump off okay good it doesn't let you jump off even if I'm trying to move forward she's like no don't jump 
Finch, you took it. You can stay in your pumpkin. Look, it's literally Zyler. Aww. <laughs> Finchy. Okay, what do I do, though? Hi, guys. Okay, we'll, we'll press Y. Just taking a nap. Benji, look, it's your, your family. It's your family. <gasps> Benji, it's Siler. Oh, it's Siler. <laughs> okay, Benji's tired. I can't believe Siler's in this game. get here it's so beautiful it kind of looks like a post-apocalyptic world you know where there's moss and greenery kind of growing on the ruins inside the wall what language is that The Last of Us, but for cats. Detroit become cat. Mm -hmm. Will we remain human, or will we save the cats? Definitely saving the cats. <laughs> if the game is cats or humans, I pick cats. It's cat. It's catish. Catglish. Okay. Am I in control yet? I'm in control. <laughs> Making my way downtown, walking fast. Press B to meow. Can you hear that? Is that loud or not? I love this game. Oh, can I accidentally fall in the water? No, thank God. I love this game. Because even if you suck, look, it just automatically makes you sit down. Or maybe cats are just that good that they never fall in the water, unless they're Menchie. Menchie's kind of clumsy. Whee! Okay, so I hop up. <gasps> Look, I'm running! I'm running! Am I living my best life as a cat? It's me living my best life, simply the cat. I quit YouTube to become a cat. Hi guys, I'm just gonna follow you. Oh, oh wait, what's this? Oh, are we drinking? Oh, the cat is drinking! <laughs> I don't wanna stop. This is literally Xyler at the sink. When we turn on the tap for Xyler. Here, let's drink this pond. Do you get bonus points if you drink from every pond? I gotta stay hydrated. I don't know where this will take us, you know? Wee! Wee! Oh, should we talk to our friend? Hey, friend! You look like me. That's okay. I'm gonna lick your neck. <laughs> The conversations of cats. And other conversations that cats have. How do I get to the other guy? Woo, big jump, but we can do it. Can I jump on here? Woo! Wow, look at this beautiful scene. 
Yeah, where are, are there any humans in this game? Actually, don't tell me. That would constitute a spoiler. But look at the little sprouts and everything growing. It's like humans got eviscerated and now there's only cats. Thank God. The world is a better place. The catwalk, wah, the catwalk. Hold A to chain jump. Oh no, it's, it's getting harder. <laughs> it's getting harder. Wee, 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 wee. Okay, luckily the controls are easy enough for me, I say, as maybe the game's going to take a really difficult turn, but so far I feel like I don't even need help. Holy shit, guys, I don't even need help. Whee! <laughs> Set me free! Look, you can't even fall off this cliff, even if I try. Oh, don't worry. We're still good. Thank you, Andrea. Can I drink this? This looks like such a delicious, thirsty stream. Oh my god, what did you find? Did you find any good flowers? Did you find any little fishies? Are there fishies in the sea? What about a minnow? Can I get a minnow? Fat cats don't like water. <gasps> We're in a tunnel! Hold LT to observe. Oh, so we can zoom in. The graphics are so good. Look. This is so calming. This is like one of those channels where you just turn on like the nature channel. It's like a fireplace, but nature, that's what this game is with cats. It, it will literally save your life. Wow, look at this talent. having so much fun in the the sunshine bliss <laughs> are we okay oh my god we're limping no no i didn't want to cry <laughs> why are we limping please how do we even fall inside, like, of a... What happened? Did we just fall over? <laughs> I'm... This game better get at me. I'm not okay with that. Why are the bags shaking? Kleenex. <laughs> Trying to find Kleenex. So I got toilet paper. <laughs> okay, we're alive. We're alive. I was, I was not ready for this chat. 
It's okay, it gets better. Okay, thank you, Stephanie 16. Come on, Zai Zai. It's all good, baby. You missed the self-grooming? Well, because I fucking fell off a tube into the abyss with all these plastic bottles. Now I'm sad. Like, look at me. I'm so sad. No! Oh, we are cleaning ourselves. Okay, can we walk? Oh, we can walk. Okay. I'm gonna make it. Ooh. What's in these bags? They were moving before. It was so weird. Hmm. Is that where I go? Do I go under there? Or am I supposed to do something first? I need to know all the clues. It's really hard to see in here. There's a bicycle? It's just a bunch of garbage. Can't believe I landed in a garbage. Whoa. If I meow, will help come? How do I get up? Can I get up? Zyler when it's dinner time. <gasps> it's the body of an android <laughs> from Detroit Become Human. <laughs> okay. I guess we just go under that door. This is the collapse of society, eh? Is this right after all humans were eviscerated? Dead city. Yes. The answer is yes. So, now what do we do? We have to figure out how to rule the land? <gasps> what the fuck is that? There's like a little rat. I need to get away from the rats. signs say? Does that say pandemic protocol? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know this is a new game, but I don't know how long it took to develop. But I always wonder if, like, games incorporate COVID realities. Or, you know, their perceived future. Or if they were already there. Like, they were already- Oh, I can jump all the way up here. <gasps> There's a security camera! Let's say hi. Hi. Is that a bad idea? Probably. Help me! Where do I go? I just want to... I miss my friends. I was having such a good time and then this! that? Am I supposed to avoid them? They seem scared of me. Are they rats? Is that a person? Oh my god, it's an android. What the fuck? It's an android. One that doesn't really look like a human. I can't do anything to it, can I? No, we just step on it. It's literally what Xyler does to me when I lay down. Just steps all, step all over me. Wee. Oui. 
human personnel only. No tr trumpets. Is that a trumpet or a horn? No music. Guys, it's the no music zone. Oh, wait, what was this? <laughs> Just like a cat, we push things off. is that way yes Christine Th that's obvious yes okay how do we get there that looks like slime okay. I need to jump up here let me jump game said no so I don't think I can go in the slime Will it tell me? I don't know. Like, can you die in this game? I swear to God, I hope not. <laughs> what does that say? R.I.P. Humans, no escape. <laughs> I love this game. It's literally about cats and all the humans are gone. <laughs> Although I don't like the way the humans left the world. Oh, you can jump on the barrels. Got it. Got it. See? I'm learning. Wee. Cats are such magnificent creatures. Help is this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Follow me on Instagram. No money. No money. Oh, look, there's another robot. I just want to read the signs because I kind of want to know what this world could be like one day. Is this a glimpse into our future? Disgusting humans. What pigs? Why they call them humans? They could call them pigs. <laughs> the security cameras are so weird though. Okay, where do I go? Help me out. Look at that face. Okay, but where am I following you to? There's nowhere to go. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, <gasps> found it. Simply discovering the world as a cat. She should. Isn't it wonderful? Where is Zyla? Zyla should be joining me right now, but he doesn't like this room for some reason. I think he doesn't like this room because Menchi claimed it. Woo! Damn. We must be tired. We need a drink. All this cat leg work. Well, that fan looks dangerous. Uh, no. I don't want to walk through that. <laughs> How do I get out? Please tell me that's not the way. Just let me in. Okay, Xyler can reach the door handle. Surely this cat can do that. Zyler can literally open up doors in our house. If we lock him in the bathroom, he will open the door. And by lock, I mean like, not actually lock, but just close the door. You need to block the fan. Oh, how do we block the fan? The smart thinking chat. Did you know that uh, chat is how you spell cat in French? Cha, C-H-A-T, cha. That's chat, so chat is a cat confirmed. Mm -hmm. These are facts. Facts of the chats. Hi, Simply, you are doing great, sweetie. Thank you, my girl. Um, we must block the fan. How? Uh, where does the fan go? Mm -hmm. 
There's like quite a few dead ends here, you know? Like you just kind of hop up and you're like, okay, nowhere else to go. Nowhere else to go. Nothing else to see. Oh. We got a bucket in our mouth. We got a bucket in our mouth. We got a bucket in our mouth. <laughs> We're dogs now. Okay, can I... Can I use this to block the fan? Maybe? Look at us. Cats are the smartest. It worked! Wow, we are the smartest cat. We are literally Xyler. Paint? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Don't leave your nail polish bottles open with your cats, or else that will happen. <laughs> Wait, should we be strategic or chaotic? Strategic or chaotic? Strategic or chaotic? Strategic? Serie, is that French? Poivrose? Serie, elle? I don't think that's actually French. But, hmm. Okay. You tell me to push, I will push the paint. But there's more paint cans. Let's push them all off! <laughs> when you are a cat, it's like when in Rome. Why, you ask? Why are we fucking everything up with paint? Because we can. Wait, why aren't- like, I want to see it splat. It's got to do something. I need a reward. Uh, get it! <laughs> There's no one below because all the humans are dead. So, it's fine. Okay, we did that for literally no reason. What now, fellow cats? I cannot jump here. What the fuck is that? What? Why is it floating so weird above me? Is that a glitch in the game? <laughs> what? I don't see it anymore. That was so weird. What is that? Look, is there... <laughs> what? Okay. I love finding glitches. Um, I think I just probably missed I could jump across here, right? Will you let me jump somewhere? Please let me jump. I just want to jump. How do I... Hmm. <laughs> Why am I... Why is it stuck? What the... Yo, I'm actually stuck. How come I can't go backwards? Oh, there we go. Oh, do I go up? Can I climb? Hmm. Oh. <coughs> we found it. Oh no, that's jumping down. The AC unit? But it's so high, I can't reach that. Hmm. Let's go back to this guy. Can I make the AC unit from all the way over here? No, this just takes me down if I press A. Need to go that way. That does not help me. The other side? There's nothing to jump on. Let me jump! Let me jump! Help! 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 Help me! Oh, what are these jugs? Wait. I can push these jugs around? Should I, like, put them somewhere? 
try meowing to interact? <laughs> Our mouth moves! Wait, I want to see my mouth. I just want to focus on my mouth. Jump down to the other side. So you can't jump anywhere there. You can only go here. But then there's nowhere to, to jump. Like there's no A. So, oh, what, what was that? What was that? Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, it was a very obscure A. Got it. Okay, now we got it. So just in case you're you're new here or to gaming, um, there's some games where like I'm not controlling everything. I can only jump when it gives me the option to jump, or press Y when it gives me the option to fuck with this can. <laughs> Broke a window, Zyler. Okay, now what? Careful, the broken glass, there, kitty. Whoa, that's pretty fucking good. This is risky. This cat's a freaking daredevil. Oh, are we going in? <gasps> We're going in. Oh my god. Guys, we painted the room. The room is blue. No money. No cats. Did our head just go through the wall? <laughs> Excuse me. My head is in the wall. Yo, let's fuck around with literally everything. <laughs> Wee. I'm gonna knock all your shit over. Wait, what is this doing? I don't know what the point is. Oh, I'm scratching. Oh, I'm ruining the carpet. Okay. Can we ride bikes? I need a bath. What's the date? It's October 11th. It's almost my birthday. <laughs> What does that say? Oh, are those instructions? Go upstairs. Interesting. Exit? Hmm. Is it water? <gasps> Let me drink. I want to drink. From the leaking ceiling. What does that say? Something city? Meow! Meow at the TV? Okay. What, like this TV? Or the other TV? Okay, let's go back and meow at the TV. Meow, meow, meow. How close to the TV? <coughs> Nothing's happening. You promised me something would happen. <laughs> or this TV. <coughs> Nothing happens. this more things to read 
no money interesting so what are the no money signs like before humans died they no longer accepted cash is it like a no cash sign fuck it fuck this pail meow around technology i did but nothing happened but i can push planters off <laughs> Is that a queen sticker? Oh! That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Does that say hollow? Oh my god, it, it says hollow. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys, there's hollow even in a dystopian future. Mm hmm Hollow will save us. We will find a way. I'm just gonna meow randomly. But is meowing ever bad? Because, like, what if there's an evil villain and they discover you because you were too loud? That's why cats are so stealthy, you know? They can just do whatever. Whoa, what is this secret door? Whoa. <gasps> what the fuck are those things? Do I have to do something? What were they doing? They were touching the... Ah! It's a robot. Should we be friends? Do you need an arm? Should I be his friend? Let's find a robot arm. I think after Detroit become human, we've all learned that we must love the robots. <laughs> but do not hug the children, you know? That's all. That, those are the rules. Let's see if we can find you an arm, buddy. I'm gonna find you an arm. I'm suspicious, but that's because I am a cat. Aw, his head just fell down. Is, are there arms in the garbage disposals? Maybe. I just made up that the goal might be to find him an arm, but um, I don't know if that's true. <laughs> he died? You didn't help him? Well, I was looking for an arm. What do you mean? Isn't that the point? <laughs> Buddy, you needed an arm. Or legs. Oh, I was supposed to just go up to him? Okay, well... Bad me for thinking, let's figure out how to actually help him rather than just say hi to save him. <laughs> like, I was like, I'm like, oh, he needs limbs. Let's go. <laughs> Some games are not made for my kind. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, buddy. I just wanted to get you some limbs. <gasps> Those rats are scared of me. Whee! <laughs> oh no. What's this, an interlude? Thank you for the gifted memberships. Everyone who's gifted memberships earlier on the stream. Because of you, more people can join the Menchie gang and become a cat. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, oh my god. Siler, no! Siler! Oh my god! Oh my god! 
What's the goal? Do I just run away from them or do I can I do anything about them? <gasps> no, no, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No. <gasps> no. What do I do? Prison. Try, oh my god, this is where, oh my god, this is my downfall. Okay, I just need to know where I'm going to escape. <laughs> we didn't know. I did not know. I just want to go back to my sunshine and eternal bliss with my kitty friends. So, hold RT to run, that's what I'm doing. I'm running away from them. But where am I, like, ultimately going? You know? Because I think my A buttons are not working. Whoa! Get off me, you fuck! Get off me, you fuck! Get off of me! Get off! Why didn't you press A? Because I did and then it, or I thought I did, but then I actually wasn't in the right location to press A. Fuck. Yo, fuck these little fuckers. No. Excuse me, get away, get away, get away. Why are they so quick? How did that happen faster than before? I don't understand. Does this game get harder? Please tell me no. Please tell me it doesn't get actually harder every time you lose. Because then I will not win. How are they on me already? Like... safe?
you know, the stress of being a cat and being good at being a cat. Like, do you see the struggle? <sighs> this is why I have... The only context under which I have self-esteem is when I compare myself to cats. You know, cats are just amazing and splendid. And if I ever feel like I disappoint my cat, I feel unhappy about my purpose in life. And so when you make me a cat and I do not succeed, it's doubly worse. Okay, I'm supposed to meow at things? What's supposed to happen? Meow, 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 meow. I am meowing. What do I do? Am I just not understanding the... We will follow the arrows, but I swear it said meow at the TVs. They just kind of flash, that's it. Also, look at the robots. <laughs> okay, I just didn't know if I was missing something. Like, missing something here. Maybe it's just a pot. What's that? Nothing to do. Is that a portrait of something? Okay. Interesting. All right, okay, we're moving. We're going, we're going, let's go. I swear to God, if I see those little rats, I will have a cat heart attack. Howard Barr? That doesn't say Howard. <laughs> this kind of looks like English, but it's definitely not. Whee! Tyler, you can do this. Fuck him up. Now what? Oh. We're doing parkour, but for cats. This is like my cat. Every time they go on my stairs, I have this level of anxiety. I'm like, oh no, no. <laughs> Oh no no, you be careful on the stairs there. Menche. Zyla. Laundry detergent. Fuck you, I clean myself. Fuck all your laundry detergent. We're a smart cat. Look at that. This is actually Xyler. Because Xyler is that smart. That he would find a wedge to get what he wants. Lots of arrows in this game. A basketball. Oh my god, let's play. Let's play. Do you play sports? Fuck it. <laughs> a cat. She shoots. She scores. Zyla! I mean, he shoots. <laughs> well, why is that moving? Was that moving or am I just crazy? I mean, the camera's moving. Okay, it was just the camera. Why? What business does the camera have watching cats, okay? Like, don't you have something better to do with your time? Know what I mean? Let's go in here. It's the laundromat. 
It's boxes. I love boxes. Because I am a cat. October 11th. It's still October 11th? I mean, I guess so. <laughs> B. Don't go in there. Do not go in there. Is there an option to go in there? No. Thank God. <laughs> Every pet owner has like the nightmare of like always checking their <laughs> washer or dryer, even though it makes no sense that like your cat would have gone in there in the two seconds that you open it. Hmm. Yes, maybe October 11th is the dates when all humans died. It's the last day that we had on Earth until we fucked it all up remember that in a couple months from now make sure to be friends with your cats I'm meowing I'm meowing give me a reward for meowing I'm a little confused. I am meowing at the televisions, but nothing is happening. So if the instructions were to meow at technology, am I meowing correctly? What if I meow? Look at the lights. Follow the red lights. Okay. Like those lights? Oh! Wait, so cats can... Make electricity? Fucking wow. I love cats. I love cats! <laughs> We're making electricity, guys! Okay, how do I get up? Let me up. Let me up. go in here <gasps> whoa and so I can jump on it from this side maybe maybe real cat of the devs is main is named Murtaugh Murtaugh is that how you pronounce that is there a cat named Xyler in this game yes there is we are playing it Careful, careful, careful. Do not spook. Whee! I find the A's a little finicky. Like they come up for like two seconds and then they're. <laughs> come back. Come back. <laughs> oh, the, the chair just fell over. There we go. Okay, I did that for no reason. All these little, like, energy portals or whatever they are, they look like a hydrometer, you know? They're counting energy. That's the people who, who bill you. They give you your energy bill every month. They're the hydro person that checks it. That's right, in the post-apocalyptic world, cats are the ones paying the bills. Can I walk this tightrope? No. Where do I go? Where do I go? Help me. Help. We're just clueless cats. Let's 
kick this can. Because I can. Okay, so if I meow at the security cameras... <gasps> it just shook its head at me! I mean, it's not a head, but the camera shook at me. So wait, does that do anything? <laughs> He's just saying yes. Is the security camera a cat too? Maybe in the future, the security cameras are controlled by cats. Because cats are... The leaders of the new world! Oh my god, no! No! I was like, do not repeat what happened in the beginning. <laughs> I am not okay. Do not make me cry again. Okay, that was just a mistake. Go back. Find another way. so beautiful but it's also like kind of spooky you know it's a little spoopy a little spoopy cat what's this some supplies for me hmm I could use some paint cans to knock off okay how do where do I go next cat. I just want to find my friends. It's so sad that there's no other cats. I was having the time of my life when there was cats. <laughs> When there was more than one of us. Okay, I'm lost. Okay, now I need help. Where do I go? Pretty sure this is the way I came. side, right? Okay, there's the AC unit. So if I go on the AC unit... Oh! I can't get up. Oh! Oh! that one over. We We made it. Ooh, what's in there? Can I go in there? No. Help me. In some ways, this game kind of reminds me of It Takes Two, except it takes cat. <laughs> it takes cat. <laughs> Just cat. But just there's something about the graphics. 
that are a little like spooky, a little creepy, dark and dim, dimly lit. Reminds me of it takes two. Should I meow? Are we doing that? It's a dance party all by myself. Everyone is dead and I'm on the shelf. It's a bench on a bench. This is the way I came, but it's not this way. It's not this way, chat. Cat. It's not this way, chat. Chaton, mes petits chatons dans le chat. Dans le chat. Wait, if you're French, you say chat, even though you're like chat. look down. So the plank board's back here. Plank. The plank is here. And then we can look down. Any lights? The lights will not light up for us. Is there somewhere to jump? We could do... Can I get lower than that? No, that's jumping up back to where we were. Hmm. Hmm. Walk across? Yeah, but I was already here, wasn't I? Everything looks the same. Was I here? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> no, this is new. You're right, you're right. Le chat est correct. One up. Ooh, what is this? Are these all mailboxes? You've got mail. Oh, oh, there's a camera. Let's talk to it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't think there's a map in this game. Cats don't need maps. They just wander around and do whatever the fuck they want. They don't need directions in life, you know? They just live it. And that's the motto. We should all live our lives. What is this? This looks like a trap. Oh, it's just where you hang planters. Hmm. Let's go up here. Ooh. 
Oh, go, go. We made it. We made it. Yeah. Siler, we did it. Hey, look, Ma, we made it. Isn't it amazing? Ooh, let's go in here. Oh. What's in here? Wow, are we almost back to our u cat utopia? Mm, we gotta block a fan. <gasps> There's a, it's our Amazon delivery. What the fuck? Oh, that's how you stop the fan. <laughs> Damn, this is a smart ass cat. <laughs> Should I just like unplug it? Wait, I don't want to drop it. Can I just keep it with me? You never know. I bought this. You know, I bought this myself with my own cat money. I'm not going to give it up. <laughs> the flat. So is this chapters? So what is that, like chapter three? We're getting slowly more colorful. Ooh. What is this lamp? Looks like a dentist. Or maybe like a ring lamp, a ring lamp for your nails. What this looks like one of those machines where you clock into something imagine you had to clock into your life like at home not just at work but at home like what a future that would be the camera's saying yes i need help okay how do i help Literally Xyler on the Menchi every time she wants to, you know, she's gonna accidentally end stream. NNN. We're being very helpful right now. Enter the door. What? Find a body? Enter the door. Turn on. Find a body? Do I want to? What the fuck? I thought this was a fun game. I don't understand this function. I guess I just can't see what I'm doing. I am scratching, I guess, but okay. Open the door, find a body. Okay. But first, I want to jump everywhere. humans doing What do I have? Like a hard drive? All right, I still have the thing in my mouth. <laughs> what is going on? Look at all these computers. Do you guys remember computer towers like this? I do. I had a big, ugly white one, like just like that, with a floppy disk. But who was this person who needed all of these computers? Good Lord. Can I plug it into one of these things? <gasps> it's 
giving me binary code, but I don't know how to read it because I'm just a cat. What do I do? Talk to me, talk to me. So if I take this guy, how do I remove it? Oh, I can't take it out once I put it in. How do I do them again? I wanted to move it. Oh, there's more batteries to find. Okay, got it, got it. Wait, I'll have the batteries. Give me the batteries. that for fun. Anyone got any batteries? How about you, camera? You said yes. There's one. Yay! Wee! Okay, let's plug it in. Plug it in. Plug it in, Zyler. You're so smart. What did that do? More binary code. Okay, but we gotta find all the batteries. Is that one up there? I think so. Whoa. This looks like that machine in to become human. <laughs> I'm like, everything looks like to become human. <laughs> Where are the batteries? No body yet, no, because we're uh, we're busy plugging in things, you know? It's very important. Made in France. <laughs> Fuck it. What is that, that light right there? That's weird. <laughs> the camera's all shake. There's a battery. But I just unplugged this computer in order to take it. Is that bad? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oops. Okay, we have three computers on. On the same desk. I'm missing a fourth. That looks like a battery over there. this. Maybe we can hop back on up over there. There's keys. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Whee! And let's plug it in over here. Okay, now what? secret cat door yo we are so smart <laughs> we are Xyler I'm meowing in sheer happiness okay which what body are we gonna see I'm scared It's a robot. We just stepped on its head. <laughs> what is this machine? Oh, I think its head just fell off. Its head fell off. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. 
What? A drone? What is that? A drone? What the fuck? It's in our mouth? What do I do with it? Thank you, Madeline. There will be. We will be cats forever on this channel. And in this life. What the fuck is that? Is that a glitch? Oh no, that's what was in my mouth. Okay. It's a, dr it's a piece of a drone. But I don't know where to put it. Do I put it in the robot? Like it. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> Christine as a literal cat is what I need in my life. <laughs> we we're a cat, but we can't figure out what to do next. The game doesn't want me to to move that way. There's a box. There's a box. Go back to the other room. Okay. All right. Where do we put this? little piece of drone oh there's arrows that all say over here Christine <laughs> right here uploading uploading to the cloud uh oh Aww. It's like a little robot. Oh, He's not a smart robot. I think he needs a cat friend. Is he wearing hollow glasses? It kind of looks like a controller. Oh, Are they going to be friends? Please don't hurt me. Exactly what Xyler would do. We found a friend to give a little boop on the nose. Question marks? What do I do with that? Do I answer him? No. Nah. It worked. I'm free. Thank you. So, are they speaking English, or does the cat speak English? <laughs> I couldn't believe the cameras. A cat in the dead city. The robot's watching the cameras. I'm- I can't remember my name. It seems my memory is corrupted. I've been trapped in the electronic network for so long. I know I worked for a scientist in yellow who lived here. For now, you can call me B12. That's what it says on my exterior. B12? Vitamin B12? It's dangerous in the dead city, but you seem like you know how to handle yourself. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Follow me. All right then. Achievement unlocked. Not alone. <laughs> That's like a life achievement. To be <laughs> that that key unlocks the door. Rem I remember that much. Which key? The key up there. Okay. Let me get that for you. Yes, sir. Very good. All right, friend. Battery low. What? Come over here. Okay. You're going to have to put this on? Put what on? A battery charger? Oh! oh. <laughs> Just like Xyler. Every time you put a vest on him, he's like, I don't understand. What the fuck is this on my back? Wait, so is he like in our backpack?
It says B12. And we're walking funny. <laughs> That's exactly how my cats walk when you put a vest on them. Okay, surely we can figure out how to walk. Thank you, Scarlet. I have, um, yes, I have an orange cat. Don't tell me this is not how we're gonna walk this whole time. We gotta get used to it, right? <laughs> what? OCD, orange cat disorder. <laughs> it's Love so... The backpack was designed for small quadrupeds like you. Is this uncomfortable for you? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've digitized the key and stored it in the backpack. Press to open inventory. Oh, so I'm gonna collect things? Inventory, okay. Examine. These are my keys. So you can show it to B12, switch the items. I don't have any other items. Cool. Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Or to others, if we come across any. Now let's get out of this flat. Okay, buddy, show me. I'm sorry, Kajani. I hope your ankle feels better. Rest and relaxation. Definitely don't jump around like a cat. Ooh. Hi, Chris. How are you and not doing so well? Is this the key? My <gasps> it is. Oh my god, we're out. We're out. Come on, let's go, B12. Let's go. Use this to torch light. What's the code? I don't know the code. <laughs> okay, I guess we gotta find the code. Find the code, find the code. Where's the numbers? Cat play piano. That's amazing. What's up? What's that? Are there numbers on it? I'm like looking for numbers everywhere now. Hmm. Code! Oh my god. Code is push it off, push it off. Push it off. Three, seven, four, eight. Got him! Look at this place. That elevator in the distance. That's important, I think. I know we need to go up. Okay, robot says we go up. Oh. I love this ride. Mm -mm -mm. Just chilling. A cat zip line. The game is slowly getting more colorful. I think that means good news. Okay, we need to go up. That was kind of down, wasn't it? <laughs> what happened? Wait. Feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? I promised someone I would go there. Promised who? 
I think they're asking themselves. This postcard, the mural was painted from it. Let's take it. How did they just like eat that up? Okay, we gained a new item, a postcard. Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. Right, so if I go in my inventory. We need to get to that big elevator. Right? It sure seems like a way out. Okay, to an elevator and up. Oops. I wanted to see my inventory though. How do I see my inventory? Oh, there. Postcard. Examine. What does it say? I am honey great invitation. Something, something longer than they think I could stay here a little longer. Something Bob? Hmm. We will see the sky again, I promise. So these are my memories. Okay, so this is just how to see what we just heard. Got it. Got it. <gasps> this is so cute. I love being a cat. I am so cute in my little jacket with my little battery pack. If only Xyler could be this useful. We're not going the right way. Uh, he said elevator. Did the sexy bots return? They were summoned by B12. How do I do that? C'est moi le chat. C'est quoi ça? Does anyone remember Henri le chat? The sad cat. They called him Henri le chat. And it was like a black and white like video that was basically a meme. It's one of my favorite videos on the internet. What is this? That's not an elevator. Look at, look at that emoji. They have emojis in the future, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I go in here? That's so creepy. Translate. Safe zone. Oh. Oh, thank you, buddy. Let's go for a ride again. No, that's not a safe zone, you fuck. Those are those little fucks. Right? Or ew. No! No, 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 not a safe zone, it's not a safe zone. Let me out, let me out. Not a safe zone. No 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 You fucking lied to me, bitch! How do I get out? How do I get out? There's nothing you know that. No! Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? I don't know where to go. Oh. I can't. No! How'd you jump up? I, I didn't think you could jump! Oh my god, is that a person? What the fuck? No, it's a robot. Yo, I'm not okay. I came out of nowhere. Directly on my butt! It was on my butt, chat. Get off my butt. <laughs> they look like evil balloons. Okay, I think we're safe, but that was not a safe zone. Okay, I have to pee. <laughs> I need a pee, a pee and a tea break. Well, no tea, but just pee. So I'm gonna pee, run an ad, and uh, I'll be right back. 45 seconds later.
There's chat meowing. Oh, I didn't mean to take me off when hit the cat clock. How are you guys doing? Are you enjoying the cat game? I am. Because it's literally me. <gasps> Scratch that chin. Yes, Xyler. Get it, boy. I should go grab Xyler so he can see himself in the future. This is his mission and his purpose in life. Oh, the screen got narrower. <gasps> We've been spotted by the robot. Oh no. Wait. Oh no, I'm scared. What do I do? Ah! Why are you scared of me? I'm just a cat. Don't be a little bitch. <laughs> I'm just a cat. What do you have against cats? What are you, a dog person? What the fuck is that about? Never seen a person run away from a cat. Hi. Hello. <laughs> it's a robot. Look, they're literally scared of us. Declare war or something? Oh no, is this a fight scene? No, I don't want to fight. I'm just a cat. Please don't fight me. I'm just. Hmm, that robot doesn't seem afraid of us. Let's talk to him. He might help us. Okay. Good tips, B12. Good tips, B12. Let's let's have a conversation, meet. I gotta how do you decode that? They seem to have their own language. You're no Zerk. Zerk? We're not familiar with your kind. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. What do you think we are? Those fucking little creepy blobs? Okay, I won't eat any. I don't eat robots. I'm not a robotitarian, you know. Why would I? Why would a cat eat a robot? It's made of metal. Doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> Did someone just say Dr. Avery? Is that you? <laughs> This is definitely not Dr. Avery. Can I talk to you again? You look lost. What do you need? show him the postcard oh a picture of the outside ridiculous this elevator isn't operational everyone knows that it's impossible to leave this place well except the outsiders but they're all gone now except momo you can try to talk to him if you want but he gave up on trying to leave it's for the best he lives high up in that building with the neon sign so is Momo the only human? Help me, B12. The guardian told us to talk to Momo. He's the only lead we've got for getting out of here. Okay. How do we get to Momo? Do I have to talk to all these people first? You gave us such a fright. We thought you were a Zerk. What is a Zerk? Do I show them all the postcard? Ooh, very pretty. Okay, not helpful. Okay. Exit. 
we have to talk. Oh my god, we gotta meet everyone. It's a party up in here. We're meeting everyone. You really thought you'd take the elevator? I've never seen that thing work, and I'll be 374 years old tomorrow. What the fuck? <laughs> Such a beautiful dream. What a shame it's just a dream. The robots don't know about the postcard. Okay, I can't talk to the guy in the middle. Ancient stories speak of natural light that leaked from a star and landed at our feet. This light caused warmth and well-being in our ancestors. It helped them grow. The clock is 99.99. I got 99 problems, but a cat ain't one. <laughs> our long gone ancestors the soft ones left us this city our home is their legacy the soft ones you talking about me there's nothing to do here I am stuck let's meet this guy if I go up there, there's nothing there. I think Momo has some pictures just like this. Did you show it to him? Okay. I thought we'd get maybe some extra clues. But I suppose not. Oh my god, more people! Good lord, it's a fucking party. Oom! Please don't interrupt my meditation with strange images. <laughs> Sorry. Just, that's what cats do. We just interrupt things. Okay, this guy doesn't want to talk. Got a picture of one of them. And then there's a... <gasps> is it, is it hollow? Yo, look at Joris's blanket. What the f Fuck! Are you seeing what I'm seeing, chat? It's hollow! <laughs> if, was it hollow when I first spoke to him? George, can we talk to you again? No, they're saying the same shit. Is it real hollow? Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, give me your blanket! I'm a cat! I need to sit on the blanket. Give me the blanket. The blanket is mine. Joris. That's crazy. Why does he, how, how did he get such a nice blanket? <laughs> I am not satisfied with this blanket. I want that one. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll leave. <laughs> Ooh, basketball. Goodbye, basketball. <gasps> Hi. Hello. We're fortunate to have these items to help us defend against the Zerks. The slums had its threats and preparation is key. Okay, we're showing everyone the postcard. We come across fake pictures like this sometimes, all talking about the outside. Beautiful dream, I guess. So half the robots don't think the outside is real. But we know, because we had friends out there once. Look at all the hidden gems in this trash. Pennies from heaven, or from somewhere anyway. They have pennies in the future? I don't think so. <laughs> or wait, I need to show them my postcard. A blue sky, ha, huh? imagine that. Okay, you. You guys are not helpful. You are not helpful. Hi! Ooh. Hello, I'm the merchant of the market. If you give me something, I'll give you something in exchange. It's as simple as that. What is, what are we, rebuilding society? This is a set of electric cable, the best on the market. I'll exchange this for a super spirit detergent. Show him the picture. <laughs> oh, he will not accept the postcard. 
Okay, well, I mean, maybe if I find some detergent. This is a music sheet. It will cost you one energy drink can. Why do you even want that? You want a Red Bull? Are these detergent cans? <laughs> We're just gonna fuck this place up. <laughs> That's oil. Like, are th these just say robot oil, not um, detergents? What's this? I don't know. I'm just chilling. It will cost you three energy drink cans. What the? The marketplace, okay. How do I know what's an energy drink can? There's like a million cans, but... <laughs> I suppose there would be like a why to pick them up if they were relevant, but I don't see anything that like, wants me to pick it up. You know? Like, that doesn't let me pick it up. Let's go this way. And we must not forget our mission. We must go to the orange glow so we can talk to Momo. And talk to the last human on Cat Earth. Hi, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're better than ever. We're back. What's down here? More robots. Is that a secret door? Can I get in? Can I get in? Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we found a really nice place to nap. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Do we have to stop? I don't want to stop. It's so sweet. I love it. I'm so happy right now. I could cry of happiness. Okay, let's meet you. Hello, I'm a musician, but I don't have any songs. <laughs> what? Show item. A blue sky Ha! I will write a song about that one day. Write it now. So you can make music. What's this, a bag? Oh, there's a bag on my head. There's a bag on my head. <laughs> what? Wait, how, I'm stuck. Like, I'm actually stuck. Why am I stuck? Oh. <laughs> there's a bag on my head. Yo, that's hilarious. Vending machine? Come on, we're smart. Yeah, we did it! Oh, we got the energy drink! Oh, that's how you get energy drinks. Wait, did I pick it up? Do I have them on me? Where did I even put them? I'm so confused. 
Can I get more? That was only two. Can I do it again? Can I do it again? No. Okay, we'll just take the two. This way, I think. Yeah, to the market, to the market. To the market, everybody. Hello. I don't really know if I want it. Oh, I don't have detergent. I only have energy drinks. What did you want an energy drink for? Do I want music? Or what was the other thing I could get? Ancient relic. Three energy drinks. Will you take two? Do I want music or ancient relics? Obviously I want ancient relics, but I'm gonna need more energy drinks. Thought he would barter with the cat, you know. Turns out he doesn't negotiate with cats. Do I have to get the music? But then I won't be able to afford the ancient relics of our ancestors. Isn't that the point? Where you, you kind of have to choose which one do you want? Do you want to find one more energy can so you can get the ancient relics of our ancestors? Or do you want to waste that and just buy one music sheet <laughs> but you can get more bottles okay as long as i can get both i'm just assuming okay you want to do a poll okay you see my thinking though right you see i am thinking that if i can't find another three energy drinks then I'm unable to get the ancient relics of our ancestors. That's why I'm like, hmm. Um, buy one music sheet. Or wait to buy ancient relics. <laughs> what to do? Meow. But can I do both? That I, yeah, I guess I don't know because I haven't played. But I'm also like wondering if um, this is kind of the, the test that we're going to see. You know what I mean? Hmm. 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 Look in your inventory. There's an amount to get. In my inventory. It just says postcard. Energy speed drink, too. While you guys answer the poll, I'll look for more energy drinks. I thought, like, they just meant on the ground, you know? Like, I could just rummage and find some on the ground. But I don't think so. I think you have to get it from the vending machine. But... We've used our last shot at that one. That one doesn't do anything. So what do I do? Can I knock it over? Let me knock it over. There's four energy cans in total in the city. Okay. But where are they? <laughs> <gasps> What's this? I'm getting distracted. Use digicode. I don't have a digicode. Oh no! Or do we use the same one as before? What was it? 
This is three, seven, five, eight. No, I don't think that was it. I'm going off memory here. It's probably a different code anyways. All right, look around for codes. There's so many numbers. We have to try all of them. God damn it. Eight, seven, six, four. Let's try uh, zero five four nine. <laughs> oh, there's no zero. What the? There's no zero. Six nine eight seven. <laughs> nope. Seven eight nine seven. Nope. Seven five six <laughs> eight. No. <laughs> Just trying everything. Okay. Four, seven. No. Check my inventory. <gasps> I picked it up. What? How? When did I pick it up? We must be able to decipher this code in one way or another. It's probably related to this safe. Yes, thank you. Then what is it? What the? I picked it up, but I don't know what it says. Oh, what do I do? Okay. Obviously, it's not going to be that easy. There's way too many numbers everywhere, so it's definitely not any of those numbers. Hey buddy, can we meet? I take care of the plants, it's Julian. The humans improved them so much, now they require very little light. Did the human, the humans all die. <laughs> the humans couldn't take care of themselves. I just add a bit of water and look how big they get. It really is am amazing technology. Okay, let's see if you've seen this. The outside. Why bother trying to find it? We're good here. Alright, everybody. I guess so. Okay. Should we talk to you again? You look lost. What do you need? Okay. So you say the same thing as before. Alright, let's get the freaking music sheet. 66% of chat said buy one music sheet so we'll buy some music okay all right <laughs> music <laughs> here you go all right are you happy chat i got a music sheet but i can't afford anything else all right let's bring it back Where's my musician? Which way is he? Uh, not that way. Uh, this way. Alright, musician. I'll show you your music sheet. The way you compute tonight. The way you... Compute tonight. Well, that's a nice one. Hear me out. <laughs> Yo, is this gonna be copywritten? Do we sit? Oh my god. I 
just realized my chat froze. Hello? Hello? Oh no, we're broken, we're broken. There you go. This is so nice. It's a little out of tune, but you know. What a lovely nap. Thank you so much. Splendid. Beautiful. I'm glad we wasted one energy can on that. <laughs> um, okay, that's the digicode, but I don't know how to decode it. The sewers is condemned because of the proliferation of zerks. Stay safe, stay in the. Oh, is a zerk those little fucking hogs? Show the code to the robot? Oh, okay. Alright, I will. Alright, alright, alright. Thank you for the music. I will practice. Show him the mysterious password. It's a very old binary code you have here. Only a real geek can read this. Yeah. That's it? Fuck. Wrong robot. We need a better robot. <laughs> okay, let's go with this robot. Do you think the plant guy is a nerd enough? Only a real geek. Okay, we need geeks. Are you a geek? Headmaster geek? You look like a geek. Not a geek. Okay, it's definitely the, the one in the hollow coat. Oh my god. Fuck. Really? It's not the hollow guy? Only a real geek. How are you guys not geeks? You're literally computers. Nope. Not you. That one's just sleeping. No, it's none of them. Fuck. No one can read the code. Did I miss one? Uh, we could show the shop guy again. Or what about that guy? This guy. All these guys. Are these guys geeks? No. Not a geek. Vince, are you a geek? No. Oh my god, I'm beginning to think everyone is stupid in the future. We have no geeks left. Can I talk? I can't talk to him though, I can only like do other things. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Do you know anything about this? No, just that he won't accept it. I want it. I want it. Alright, we must explore a little more, I suppose. Kitty cats in the chat. There was a place I did not go down. Was it this place? Hmm. Nope, that's the music guy. Or well, maybe it's here. Oh yeah, it's here, it's here, it's here. I did not go this way. Oh my god, there's so many ways to go. <gasps> so many ways to go, but there's a sad looking robot right here. How do you do? You do look like a little zerk, from far away at least. They look and sound so cute, but don't be fooled. Those things chew through metal. They're terrifying. <gasps> Ew, disgusting. 
Oh. Just robots. Teddy is not a geek. Any geeks in the bar? Geeks definitely don't leave the house, so it wouldn't be any of these. Hi. I'm just gonna jump on your table. You want something? Yes. Not a geek. Jacob, employee of the month, September XX27. What's XX27? 2027? Are you a geek? Hello. I should be doing also is showing them the postcard. That's a nice picture of the outside. Momo is a real fan of that myth. You should show it to him. That's what I'm trying to do, but I guess I have to go through all this to find Momo. I'm just gonna go in your fridge. Yo, is there energy drinks? <laughs> Doesn't look like I can take anything. I'm gonna steal your shit. Like the cat I am. Who wants free alcohol? I can't talk to. He's wearing a hollow hat. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, his hat is hollow. Okay, I can't talk to him though. He doesn't do anything. A bucket. All right. Let's climb up the stairs. Okay, we're going. We're going up the stairs. Woo! Oops. Let's just fuck up this pool table. <laughs> yo, yo, can I play with them? So fun. Okay, all right. Stop fucking around, Zyler. Yo, the, the, you look you look like a geek. This is the newspaper from the people living above on level two. It's a few years old, but it's something to read. Okay. No, not a real geek. Some people tried to find an exit in this city. It didn't go well. Okay, well, that's people, not cats. Key word, so we'll be fine as long as we are not people. Music sheet! Here, I, I didn't have to buy the other music sheet because I just found one for free. <laughs> or do we have extra music sheets? So he can play another song. Remember? Is this a memory? Do they really consume this? Their original design didn't have a digestive system. Maybe they somehow evolved by mimicking humans. Do you think I should try some of it? I do not want to be dis disrespectful of their ways. New memory recovered. Okay. Fuck shit up. Whoa, what? Is that a glitch? <laughs> what happened? Fuck your beer, my beer bottles. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? <gasps> Whoa! Okay, we've 
Ooh, more people. I mean, robots. Zack, I left it in the streets and the next day the Zerks had consumed it completely. That's crazy, right? They can eat everything. Another picture of the outside. Get out of here. No one likes the outside. We're so sad. How do we show them the other things? Show them the, the password. No, it's binary code. Show them sheet music. I don't play it. <laughs> okay, whatever. That was stupid. Are you a, a dork? We're looking for dorks. The guardian is the only one who can open this door. It's a pretty picture. Fake, but pretty. They're like, humanity? Fake news. Yeah, yeah. Only geeks. Got it. Got it. I'm just gonna sit on your lap. Oh, we're sitting by the fire! <laughs> Why is it so cute? Okay. <gasps> Were we just stretching? Oh my god, I love us. that way yet. Let's go this way. Plants. Nico plants grow in the dark. <laughs> you don't need the sun to enjoy nature. That's what I say to all of you guys. You don't need the sun to enjoy nature. You know, just, just stay inside. Stay safe. Paint your nails. Translate. <laughs> Barterman Super Spirit Laundry Grandma Clothing Elliot Programming. Elliot Programming is where they'll be a nerd. It said this way, right? Let's just kick that can because why not? What's this? What's this? Let me in! Let me in! Please don't act like a child. I'm not gonna hurt you. What? How am I acting like a child? It says surgery seven out of seven? What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck? What does that mean? This world is not mine. I am but a cat exploring this land. Oh, hello. Those guys better not drop a paint bucket again. Oops, was that us? Or else Cosma will be ticked off. What's that, a beach? I've never heard of that in my whole life. It's a very old bun Okay, geeks, sheet music. Okay, yeah, yeah. Can I go up the stairs? No. Who dropped paint cans? That was not us. Definitely not. Where to now, B2? B12? I mean, not B2, that's your old model. What's this way? It's very bright in here. Let me in, let me in. Thank 
Charger Man, Super Sphere Laundry, Grandma Clothing, Elliot Programming. So Elliot Programming is up to the right. Let's go there. That's where we'll find a nerd, right? <gasps> Hello. Hi, are you waving at me? <laughs> me, every time I see a cat. So if today is yesterday's tomorrow, tomorrow will be yesterday's today, right? Time is weird. We don't age like our soft one ancestors. We are trapped here forever. They don't think it's real. Wait, we gotta ask them if they're a nerd. No. No. Okay. They, they did nothing. There's a lot of dead... <gasps> Whoa! It's working. There's a mountain. Oh my god. It is real. Or it's just after effects. Yeah. Is it real or is it Photoshop? Oh, there's a vending machine. Oh, there's another vending machine. We're just gonna press all the buttons. Got him. Okay. You guys were right that we will be able to get more things. We could go back. But, um... What is... I feel like there's so many little goals. But now I'm lost. Announcement. Looking for someone capable of monitoring the seven entrance to the safe zone. The remuneration is two pints of Sayuba oil per day. Please contact the Guardian. Definitely not volunteering for that. Uh, the safe zone was not very safe. <laughs> Wait, I didn't get like the robot guy. there more back here the city is so big it says me every time I leave my house Wow why is it raining is that rain what is that RIP humans Another vending machine? Hee <laughs> Oh, I didn't even take it. Oops. Take it. We can carry a lot for a cat. That's pretty impressive. Remember. RIP humans, heart. Humans were the first residents around here. It seems that they're all dead now. What do you think? It feels like being dead. I know it's silly coming from me, but are they at actually are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. This is another AI game. I had no idea. <laughs> I just thought it was a cat game. I'm sorry, I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. It's okay, you are a highly intelligent AI. B12. Thank you for the memories. Thanks for the memories. Let's fuck some paint cans up.
go this way. We'll follow the glowing sign. We came here before. I feel like we're going in a circle. Wait, translate. Announcement. I'm looking for sheet music to play the guitar and add some ambiance. If you find any, bring them back to me. I live near the elevator. Yeah, that's the same guy we went to before, right? Hi. You look kind of cute. Oh, did I just trip you? <laughs> you can literally trip the humans. <laughs> okay, he doesn't want to talk. Well, there's the super spirit detergent. How do I get some? Do I have to steal it? Let me in, let me in, let me in. Are you one of the troublemakers playing with the paint buckets on the roof? Who told you that? Keep your paint away, I'm tired of- Oh, we shouldn't have hit all the paint cans. We're getting punished. What's the point of this if it never lets you in, though? Let me in, let me in! Those guys better not- yeah, okay. We already talked to you. <laughs> we hear ya. You don't like the pain cans. I need to get into that store if I want the laundry detergent, though. Can I get in <laughs> like this? Oh, hi there. Oh my god, he's dropping the paint. Stop, meow. I'm meowing at you. What? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Why are the robots throwing paint? They thought it... Like, why, what's the point? I understand why cats do it. <laughs> Oops. That's all you have to say is oops? <laughs> what are you doing? Why? Can I play though? I want to drop paint. Look at all those fucking paint cans. I, I want to play. Wait, how do I get back down? I gotta get back down. Let me in, let me in. Is it this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me in. Yeah, I'm going in. I'm in. Bitches, I'm getting laundry detergent. I've never been so excited for laundry in my life. But it's October 11th and I'm a cat. Wow, this place is amazing. Super spirit, yes. <gasps> Take it. <laughs> Got him. Ben, I can now do the laundry. Anything else to do here? No, that was probably it. That picture. There's, they always have the picture of these fucking robots. Okay, sh should we say hi or are you gonna take it? I'm cleaning the porch of my shop again. Stop playing over me, you clumsy rascal. Let 
wasn't me. See you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, I do not remember where I am. But there's people up here. <laughs> I'm literally exactly like a cat. I'm so distracted. Oh no, I already talked to them. Okay, let's let's use this map to help us because I do not remember. Barter Man, Super Spirit Laundry, Grandma Clothing, or Elliot Programming. So Barter Man is left. That's where we're going, right? Is that up this way or this way? I think this way. Trusting me with directions? Mmm. Mmm. That's a music guy. Oh no, that's Barter Man. Give me this, bitch. Good thing I have... Do I have three energy? No, I only have two! Because I bought the sheet music! Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see? Wait, what about this? Okay, well this I can buy. All because chat wanted to play music. I thought it would have been smarter to not waste it on music. Whoa. Alright, so what now? How do I get to Momo? I only have two energy drinks. What do you mean I have four? What do you mean? Yeah, let's just check my inventory. Look, I have two cans. That's it. That's one can, that's another can. So I only have two. But now I have an electrical cable. I have sheet music. I have a mysterious password and a postcard. And I need to get to Momo. Can you help me? I don't know. Any of these? What, what would you do with electrical tape? Those are some high quality cables. Grandma uses this to craft her unique clothes. Oh, we gotta go to Grandma's? Is that grandma? Which way is that? <laughs> grandma is the third one. So grandma's is this way. Are you grandma? No, that's Teddy. <laughs> Alright, they're telling me the same shit. Is grandma this way? That, is grandma in the bar? Grandma's drunk. <laughs> Grandma is the third. Okay. Thank you, Ula. Just came late to see Christine as a cat. Worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Christine as a cat. Yes, of course. Elliot's programming. Oh, we made it here. Knock on the door and wait for us to open. Is this the equivalent of knocking for cats? Thank you, Bally. Go back in the bar. Safe code is there. Okay, we'll go there after. But I'm in here now. Whoa. We were programmed to be slaves, but since a lot of days, we have a soul. Hope one day the outsiders will find the exit of this hell Momo. Whoa. 
Are you a nerd? You're Elliot. Oh, he's just over there. Do you know how to use this? No. Yeah, I had to hop off as soon as I got off work. Thank you, gloriously imperfect. Wee. Can we play piano? <laughs> What a beautiful song, Zyler. You're so talented. <laughs> Elliot? Is that you? I'm just gonna jump on your desk. Hi. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Yes, can I help you? Yes, yes, Let's do do something. You want me to read this binary code? Just a second, I need to calibrate my lenses. Here it means duffer bar, strange. Who gives a rendezvous via a binary code? Can you do anything else? What about this? I don't need these cables, okay. Do you want an energy drink? Okay. <laughs> What about the postcard? You wanna go outside? Good luck. So yeah, the bar, the other chatter was right. So we wasted all this time to come to the computer lab. But it's okay, we got to push, push shit off the desk. Therefore, cat happy. Let me in, let me in. I'm just gonna fuck up all your furniture. It's not doing anything. Don't tell your landlord. Ooh, this room is so nice. Let's fuck it up. <laughs> I like the vibes of this room. They are so chill. What's this? I went through the table, guys. Why? Can I turn it on? Oh, it's just turning it off and on? down your blinds. Oh, pull up your blinds. Oh, damn, look at that. Hello. Can I run in front of your feet again? Okay, we gotta go back to the bar. Um, where's the bar? <laughs> None of these were the bar. Hmm, I do not recall. Which way to the bar? Said the cat. It was not this way. It was not this way. Woo, was it, is it this way? Have I met you guys before? I don't think so. You want something? I don't know. What do I do with this? Grandma could use it. I still haven't found grandma. It's a hollow code again. You're one of those outsiders like Momo. Take me to Momo. Take me to your leader, Momo. Was this the bar? No. I don't remember, guys. There's so many rooms that I'm like confused. Wait, is that a postcard? <gasps> and sheet music? That's a postcard. 
Oh my god, I love this little bunk bed. Sir. Um, where's the bar? Bar. This way. Is it this way? What? Oh my god. My sense of direction, guys. I'm back where I started. <laughs> no, Momo's obviously the goal of this whole like chapter but i need to remember is this the bar there's the bar so i think in order to get anywhere change the music okay now who do i ask let's ask mr jacob you're new here what can i do for you how about you do something with this. I'm confused. Uh, there's like a code in the bar? Yeah, the defer. Oh! Oh, there it is! One, two, eight, three? Is that a one? <laughs> what kind of handwriting is that? One, two, eight, three. Remember that chat. And now I gotta remember <laughs> where that safe is. Where's the safe? It's like on one of these sidelines. No, it was like in a smaller alley. Which way was it? There it is, there it is. One, two, eight, three. One, two, eight, three. All we get is sheet music? <laughs> That's it? Okay. All that for music. I, how do we get to Momo? Tomorrow's. We gotta take a nap while they play music. How do I get to Momo? Anyone want to tell me? How do I get? Go to the neon sign up in the sky. that one how do I get there let me guess I do cat things to get there so we we've, we've been here before where is it it's like up there 
Oh, this is new. But I've also like lost perspective. It's like up there, I think. Simply give the other sheet to the robot. But does he just play songs? Cause like that's nice, but you know, I want I want the goal. Oh no, not again. Are you dropping paint, brother? Don't drop the paint. <laughs> I'm gonna get mad at you. Okay, the orange sign's this way. Looks like it could be a Momo. Looks like an unhappy Mac. It's when the rainbow wheel spins so much and it, it won't stop. Mac users know. Is that Momo? Okay, cool. Hello. Nice to meet you. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, what do you want? Look at everything I have. This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Yes. Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that bullshit transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes out of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go there. <gasps> Momo's notebook. <laughs> Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. That's like the simplest manifesto ever. <laughs> it is signed Clementine Zbatal Zbaltzar, Doc, and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. We gotta go to school. Find the notebooks. Oh, it's Momo and his friends! <laughs> Is his friends. That's so sad. Is that a keypad? Y'all got any notebooks? The city has a cylindrical shape of about 450 meters. There's a level above ours. The city seems to have a ceiling. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. Imagine being in a world with a ceiling. I mean, that's literally like the ozone layer, I guess. <laughs> what a stupid question, Christine. Imagine living in a world with a ceiling that isn't like the ceiling of your house. Who's that? That's a human. Why are all the fridges open? <gasps> Bag. On my head. <laughs> Why did I do that? I'm literally stuck. <laughs> Let me out! Oh no! There we go. <laughs> That's sweet. Okay, Momo, where's your other notebooks? Give me your fucking notebooks. Memories. Back home. Oh, back home too? I remember this video game. Where'd you go? It was made just after I was created, I think. 
I can't remember it well. The scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Don't worry, we'll piece together everything, Momo. Or, what's your name? B12. Is that a cow? Oh my god. It's a cow. video games just tell me what to do when I'm lost. Let's go! B12, let's go! Cat in the bucket. Fuck that. <laughs> uh, I'm supposed to go over there. Books. We're just breaking and entering. It's fine. Remember there was a sign that said no music? Or like no trumpets? And there's like a huge fucking... What are those called? Music player? record of something a phone a gramophone yeah that's why the grammys are called the grammys right cuz it looks like that like the the grammy that you win looks like a gramophone computers yo this one's on <gasps> notebook an outsider notebook. It's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. They're in a place called Midtown and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know his look. He will not come with us. Aww. That's crazy. I meant to jump, but instead I went under the bed. <laughs> Sheet music. Damn, there's so much music in this game. Okay, can I go up? Yes. Is this, can I take a nap? see anything else to do in here. So that's the orange sign. Oh, sorry. We already did that. We already met Momo. And now the mission is to collect notebooks. But look at all these beer cans. <laughs> oh, 
Can I take a nap? Aww, I love how I can just sit down and take a nap. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe that's it for tonight, guys. Just napping with the robot. Can I talk to this robot? We're napping together. Hi, robot friend. This was such a lovely way to spend the evening with you. Oh, I cannot speak to you. You are just a napping buddy. Just a little napping buddy. That's so pretty. Okay, yeah, I think we'll end it there. I feel like we, we did a lot. I mean, I don't know how long this game is, but um, Ben says, let's go get ice cream. You say that every stream. <laughs> Do we have time? Oh. Okay, what do you guys think of Stray? Here. Um, is it going to save my game? I always don't know this. Reload? No. It's been three minutes. Okay, no. But if I quit, it'll save it, right? I hope that that's saved in an appropriate spot. <laughs> you love this game for me? game for me too hold on a second that was so fun why is being a cat like the most calming and rewarding thing ever I meant she's left her pumpkin but It's a fun game. DQ for Ben. I love that you're having fun. It's cute. Cute with little quests. It is cute. It's calming. But it, I got scared <laughs> with the little fucking, like, the zerks. God lord. I don't want to die at the hands of a little pink thing. Cats are fun to be. Yeah, that's what it is. Maybe next time Menchie will join me in the background. I think I'll have to play something else, Friday. I don't want to spoil this for you. Yeah, but you're not going to... Are you saying you'll get past me or my point? I don't know. You could play too. I'm sure people would watch both of us play the same game. Like, whatever. <laughs> You'd probably play the cat very chaotically. I support cat-related content, exactly. All right, well, I appreciate everyone coming to hang out with me. It's been a long week, you know, it's been a long week and it's only Wednesday. <laughs> but um, as a reminder, this Saturday, my sister's going to come over. So we're going to do a sister ladies who lunch stream. That's going to be fun. And I am going to continue or I'm going to finish playing the quarry. I'm thinking maybe we pick another evening, like a random extra bonus stream and do that and finish the quarry that night. So that next Wednesday, I'll just continue playing Stray. So, I don't know, what night makes sense? Not Saturday, because I'm already streaming. Friday, Ben streams. Maybe Sunday night? Maybe Sunday night I could do? I don't know. I'll tell you after Saturday when I, yeah, it's gonna be a bonus stream. Bonus stream to finish the quarry. As I promised, we will finish our time with the teenagers. <laughs> what do you mean no quarry? No, we'll play it as an extra. Are you saying you don't want an extra stream? Come on, Connie. Yeah, we could have simply Sunday night. Sunday stream like the good old days. Yeah, just just maybe later. Because it has to feel spooky for me. A bonus murder stream? Yes. In the woods. All right, everyone. Okay, thank you guys for hanging out with me. And just honestly, I apologize. I missed so many member and super chats early on in the stream. But um, 
assuming they were generally of the similar sentiment, I really appreciate everything that, you know, you guys do and stick around and hang out with me. So I hope to offer you more cozy, comfy cat streams. Next Wednesday, we'll continue with Stray. And I will see you guys this Saturday for a chaotic, probably sister uh, kitchen stream. It will not be comfy cozy. <laughs> thank you, Hillary Faye. Just wanted to thank you for naming party one purple that it made my aunt laugh to call it poop before she passed on Sunday. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, but I'm glad people are laughing. We need more laughs in the world. <sighs> Not everything is funny, but sometimes it's good to laugh. You know what I mean? All right, everybody. Thank you to the mods. Thank you to the sexy bots for showing up. And thank you to <laughs> all the Menchie Game members. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.